Hello and welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna show you how to quickly and easily overclock your controller on PC. This is a program that people have been using for years. It takes up no space on your computer and you do not need to run this program while you are gaming. This works for most controllers, but we will be showing you how to overclock and unoverclock your controller so you can test it out and see if it works for you. Most people will benefit by an overclock. I would relate this to like a NASCAR driver trying to just get half a mile per hour faster in a race. This is a very, very minimal change, but if you're trying to maximize kills and maximize your gaming potential, this is a change that I definitely recommend you make. Enjoy the video and let me know what you guys think below. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is go down to the link in the description. It's going to take you to github.com slash Lord of Mice, H-I-D-U-S-B-F. Once you get to this page here, you're just going to click go to file and you're going to select H-I-D-U-S-B-F dot zip. There's another one that looks like it that has an N. You're just going to choose this one in the middle that ends with the F. Once you get to this page here, you're going to click the download button over on the right side here. Once you download it, show it in the folder. Mine just went to downloads. It's gonna be a zipped file. You right click on it and extract all. That's all that's gonna do is give you a regular folder right below the zip. Um, if your thing doesn't auto pop up, click this folder. It's gonna bring you into here. You're gonna click driver and then you're gonna go down to setup. And this is gonna be the program. You might need to accept and run a few prompts. This program is perfectly safe. This program also is set it and forget it, meaning once you overclock your controller, you can exit out um, and you can just leave that controller OC for whenever you need it in the future. You shouldn't ever need to mess with this um, after you do it. So you click the drop down. Once you get here, you go to USB um, and mine, my controller, I already know is X input. Uh, an easy way you can tell uh, what your controller is, is by unplugging your controller, okay? And then that's going to disappear and then plug it back in. So then bang, you know what yours is. Mine is right here and the B interval is four. This is what we want to change down to one, but you're going to click this default section in the middle here, click filter on device. You're going to change this pull rate right here from default to a thousand, okay? And then you're going to click install service. You might need to accept another prompt. You're going to let that go. Once it's done loading, give it, you know, 20, 30 seconds or so here. Then you're going to click restart. You see the little loading bar here. You're going to wait for this to finish up after you click restart. And then you're simply going to unplug your controller. And then you're going to plug it back in. And what you're going to notice is that B interval changed from a four to a one. This is yes, this is a thousand. That's how you know you did it right and it's working. Um, this program is not gonna take any weight up on your computer. You, again, you do not need to run it. So if you're a gamer that wants to get more kills or even takes this you know, um, partly serious, it is definitely an advantage, very easy to do, and it's not gonna cost you anything. The program's not gonna harm your computer. It's been around for a long time. And as you can see, it's very simple. Um, you know, depending on the controller you have, most people will benefit by this. I have seen and heard some things where overclocks people sometimes feel like it didn't do something. Um, it's very hard to tell, number one, unless you're really pushing things to the max because it's a very slight advantage. But it is an advantage in some controllers, depending like if you have some off brand may respond differently, in which case. Um, all you need to do is come back to this program if you want to take the overclock off. You have it filtered on device. You, you click back on it. You unfilter it. Change this back to default. And you just click restart. And once you see that load, you just unplug it. And then plug it back in. And you'll see that your controller is back on the default with the four interval. So very simple to apply it, very simple to take it off. This program doesn't, you know, it's not any weight on your computer. You don't need to run it while you're playing a game. 
Um, so I think that's important to tell you guys because I definitely recommend it because of all those reasons. I don't like to run anything on my computer for the most part. I like to keep it clean and just tuned for performance. So those are the types of videos you're going to see from me. Um, I know a lot of this stuff is out there, but I also get questions on it a lot. So my goal when I make these videos is to make it short and as easy to follow as possible, um, no matter what I'm doing. And we'll get into more stuff involving FPS, graphics, latency, ping reduction, um, quick and easy videos. Let me know what you think below. Appreciate you guys for watching. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Take care.